All right, guys, so I got a Spikes Tactical lower and upper receiver that uh, I was planning just to build an upper, but uh, works pretty good. So I decided that I was going to build a whole nother rifle. And uh, so I ordered the Flat Dark Earth upper and lower receiver from Spikes. And I wanted to make it mid length. So I went ahead and went to the gun show. I got myself a 1 in 7 twist, 4150 chrome It's This is a, <coughs> a pretty nice little barrel. I mean, it's the price was just right. And I went ahead and picked it up. So I got everything from the same guy. I uh, got this at Academy because I already had a, a K grip that I went and uh, re returned. And so I get myself a flat dark earth MOE grip. And flat dark earth, uh, mid length handguards. Just, you know, delta ring. I was gonna do a free float, but I said, eh, I might as well. No, no, no. Gotta sell, got myself, uh, I guess it's one of the cheaper nickel boron bolts. Everybody seems to have these now. It looks like it's staked okay. It's not the greatest staking. Just kind of a, a budget, but budget build but you know at the same time it's still a pretty good little project here got myself moe commercial i mean uh, mil spec buffering uh capsule nut there and the buffer in the buttstock this is the the trigger components it is uh Regular just mill spec trigger, nothing fancy. And I got myself a castle wrench, and I'm, I mean, or just you know, an AR wrench in general. This thing should be enough to uh, build the whole rifle. So I'm gonna put these parts all together, and I'm not gonna show you how to build one because I'm gonna build it really, I mean, low budget, low key. I'm not. I'm not an expert in building these things, so I'm just gonna build it and I'll show you the end result. All right, so we're all done. Got everything on that I was gonna get on. Spike logo, Matek rear sight. And it's really a copy of the Matek. It came with my Colt 6920 upper, but uh, oh well, I mean, it's Matek style. Hangers went on nice. I don't have the muzzle, uh, the flash hider, because what happened was, uh, I guess when I told the guy that I wanted the A2, regular A2, he charged me for it. He didn't put it in the bag. So I gotta go tomorrow to the gun show again. That's an excuse to go, to go again. And these are all the tools I used. All of my brute force and the wall a little bit. So we gotta, Old rubber mallet. This thing's pretty cool. It's a DPMS uh, all-in-one AR-15 wrench. So I use that. Uh, these little tools here uh, for the grip. And one was just for, I don't know, whatever. Duct tape. I used this uh, instead of bending my gas tube. I went ahead and used this as a, as a form of a line, aligning the the, the barrel nut uh, so that I knew it was straight and some simple tape on an old vice grip it's just old vice grips and I just put tape on there that's for the bolt catch and as you can see if I get this to stop moving as you can see no scratch on the receiver not that I it matters much one thing to note on these receivers here, if you plan to buy one from Spikes, um, mine came uh, with a lot of Cerakote in between every crevice. So I had to file some of the Cerakote from inside of the uh, magazine catch, uh, from the selector lever, from these uh, pins for the trigger and hammer. And basically, in, in the, the rear takedown pin is still 
it's a chore to do, so I still gotta work that in. Uh, but all in all, it feels pretty nice. Uh, let me show you the bolt here. Uh, pull it forward, there's nothing in there. The bolt is pretty nice. Looks really good. The bolt looks nice, I like it. It's the nickel boron. And you know, these are pretty pretty cheap here. Um, they are probably just the cheap old bolt with a little coating on it. And uh, this is, uh, I think the bolt was like $115 or so. Not bad. But like I said, I gotta go get that, uh, gotta go get the muzzle nut. I already have it paid for, so I just gotta go pick that up at the gun show. And uh, pretty nice. I like it. Take it out, shoot it later. And uh, I'm gonna leave the standard uh, trigger guard. Kind of like the the accent of the of the of the black there. Kind of breaks up the the tan a little bit. And here it is. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Wish I could show you how the how the build went, but I don't know. I don't have that kind of patience, guys. All right, guys.